Senior first baseman David Fry, currently the co-holder of Northwestern State's doubles record for a career 59 doubles. David tying it in Sunday's game, and, and it's just one of the numerous top 10 lists David will find himself in when his career ends after the season. But it's been quite a journey, four years, and you came in, and you forced your way in the lineup as a freshman, you really never left. When you look back, and you still got half a season, more than half a season to go, what's this ride been like for you? Oh, it's been awesome. Uh, I remember coming here as a freshman and kind of taking BP and ground balls with the guys and being like, wow, can I really play with these guys? And just trying to find any way to just get some playing time as a freshman. And I was able to be lucky enough to get some starts and get some hits under my belt and then just kind of go from there and just really grow. Who were some of the guys, maybe that freshman year, your sophomore year, that you really became close with that kind of maybe took you under your wing and kind of showed you the ropes? Uh, like that senior class was really good, but Alford was a sophomore that year, and he really kind of took care of me, showed me the ropes, and we were even in a position battle at one point, and he was still telling me everything he knew, so that was awesome. That senior class, guys like Brett Underwood, mm -hmm. uh, Brandon Smith. Yeah, Court Brenton, Court those guys. Brent, yeah, Court, how is it, you know, when you played with Court for a couple of years, and we know the career Court had here, mm -hmm. you're starting to pass him in some of those numbers now. Is it is there a friendly rivalry going there? <laughs> yeah, last year he would text me and tell me, great job, and this year he's starting to text me and say, slow down, like, <laughs> you don't need to get so many hits, stop. <laughs> I know we've talked about it, and, and you're, you're very wary of talking about yourself. Uh, I think you've got a, a very strong dose of humility there, but when you think back as, as these numbers continue to pile up, when you look forward to, to when it does come to an end, uh, hopefully in June, a couple weeks into <laughs> mm -hmm. June, uh, you know, when you try to sum it up, what, what are your thoughts when you try to just maybe sum up the past four years? Uh, yeah, like if trying to sum it up, I wouldn't really think about the numbers, just the experience I've had here. Coming, I remember coming to my visit and being like, do I really want to spend four years in Natchez, Louisiana? But it's been the best four years of my life. And just remember all the guys that I played with, and that'll be the best. I know you and I have kind of talked about the numbers a little bit just between us, but knowing you're one double away and you played for a couple of years the same position Brandon Morgan did, what's that if, you know, the next time you split a gap and you pull up at second base and you know you've got the record, what's that going to feel like? Yeah, it'll be awesome. Uh, and just uh, – shows hard work pays off and I just remember a couple of years ago looking at the record books and Brandon Morgan's number one on pretty much everything it feels like so it'll be a really cool feeling. All right now coach said he did email you and said you know you may have to sit him on the bench for a couple <laughs> of games uh you know, I don't think you're gonna take him up on that will you? <laughs> no I won't do that. <laughs> All right Dave thanks so much. Mm -hmm. Thanks.